Hello everyone, very good morning. Myself Sia Verma. I hope you all are doing very well. And today we will be discussing the most important MCQs of 21st March 2024. And also these questions are part of daily 20 MCQ series, which is available on GK Today app. So if you want to support GK Today financially, then please do subscribe. So let's start with our session. And the very first question is, Recently, which para archer was announced as the national disability icon of the Election Commission of India? So, answer of this question is Shetal Devi. So, recently, Election Commission of India announced para archer and Arjun Awardi. Shetal Devi as its national person with disability PWD icon. National person with disabilities icon. So, let's talk about Shetal Devi. So, in 2022, she won two gold and one silver medal in the Asian Para Games. Asian Para Games 2020-22. Fine. Also, this announcement was held during an exhibition cricket match organized by ECI and BCCI at Karnali Singh Stadium, New Delhi. So, during this event, ECI announced about Shital Devi. Fine. So the match was played between IDCA, Indian Deep Cricket Association and Delhi District and Cricket Association. Delhi District Cricket Association. And the result of the match was DDCA won by 60 run. Fine. So here the keyword is Election Commission of India. So presently the CEC, Chief Election Commissioner is uh, Shri Rajiv Kumar and only Election Commissioner is Shri Gyanesh Kumar and Shri Sukhbir Singh. Fine. So, Chief Election Commissioner, you have to remember Shri Rajiv Kumar. One more point regarding this question is, so this is about 2022 DEEF International Cricket Council T20 Championship Trophy which took place in UAE. So basically, the Indian Deep Cricket team won the tournament, became, uh, beating South Africa. Uh, for this 2022 winning, ECI sponsored this match recently. So that's why this question is in the news. Fine. Let's move to the some revision question. And the first question is, Faz Fazal, who recently seen in the news, is associated with which sports? So he is associated with cricket. Fine. Next is, where was the Center for Excellence in Nutritional Supplements Testing for Sports Persons inaugurated? So, at Gandhi Nagar. Answer is Gandhi Nagar. Fine. Next is, Road to Paris 2024, championing clean sports and uniting for anti-doping conference is recently hosted by which organization? So, it is hosted by National Anti-Doping Agency, NADA. Fine. Next is Kalignar Sports Kit Scheme recently seen in the news is launched by which state? So it is launched by Tamil Nadu state. Fine. Let's move to the next question. So the next question is recently which state or UT government recently approved the 10% reservation for Pahari and three other tribes? So the answer is Jammu and Kashmir. So recently the rules regarding reservation in Jammu Kashmir have been updated. And Lieutenant Governor Manoj Sinha has given approval for this. So, in this, the government has decided to set additional 10% reservation for newly recognized tribe. Like uh, the, uh, the tribe's names are Pahari, Pahari Ethnic Group, Padari Tribe, Kolis and Gada Brahmins. So, for these newly recognized tribes, the government has decided to set additional 10% reservation as scheduled tribes, ST. Fine. Also, the government has added 15 new social groups to the OBC category. Fine. So, now the overall reservation for ST is 20% in Jammu Kashmir. Fine. So, you have to remember... The 10% reservation for Paharis and three other tribes held in Jammu and Kashmir. Let's move to the revision question. The first question is, the Hathi community which was recently in news for legal dispute on its inclusion in scheduled tribe list is primarily found in which state of India? So, the Hathi community belongs from Himachal Pradesh. 
नेक्स्ट इज शनॉन मीरा अ सेंटर शो केसिंग द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द शनास ट्राइब्स वॉज ओपन इन विक स्टेट और यूटी सो जम्मू कश्मीर इज द आंसर नेक्स्ट इज अंडर फ्री मूवमेंट रेजिम ट्राइब्स लिविंग अलॉन्ग द बॉर्डर कैन ट्रेवल अप टू वॉट डिस्टेंस इन साइड द अदर कंट्री विदाउट अ वीजा सो द आंसर इज सिक्सटीन किलोमीटर नेक्स्ट इज लोकसभा पास कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन ऑर्डर बिल फॉर इंक्लूजन ऑफ शेड्यूल ट्राइब्स इन विच स्टेट सो द स्टेट इज छत्तीसगढ़ फाइन लेट्स मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन एंड द नेक्स्ट इज कलकोटी वलियार कॉरिडोर रिसेंटली सीन इन द न्यूज इज अ क्रिटिकल रूट फॉर एलिफेंट्स टू मूव बिटवीन विच टू स्टेट्स सो द आंसर इज तमिलनाडु एंड केरल सो रिसेंटली कलकोटी वलियार कॉरिडोर इज इन न्यूज वाई बिकॉज इट इज वन ऑफ द फोर्टी टू कॉरिडोर आइडेंटिफाई बाय द तमिलनाडु स्टेट गवर्नमेंट अपॉइंटेड एलिफेंट कॉरिडोर कमेटी सो बेसिकली दिस एरिया इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर एलिफेंट्स टू मूव फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु टू केरला बट रिसेंटली डिस्टर्बेंस एंड कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्क इन दिस कॉरिडोर कॉजिंग प्रॉब्लम विद एलिफेंट्स एंड दे आर कमिंग इन टू नियर बाय विलेजेस एंड दैट्स बाय इट इज इन न्यूज बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ट्रॉमा फाइन सो यू कैन सी इन द मैप एज वेल कलकोटी टू वेलियार कॉरिडोर कलकोटी टू वेलियार कॉरिडोर फाइन लेट्स मूव टू द रिविजन क्वेश्चन विच स्टेट विल फीचर इंडिया फर्स्ट पर्सनल रैपिड ट्रांसिट और पी आर टी कॉरिडोर एज पार्ट ऑफ इट्स मेट्रो रेल इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर सो द आंसर इज उत्तराखंड नेक्स्ट इज विच कंपनी रिसेंटली सिक्योर अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट टू सर्वे इंडिया फर्स्ट पी आर टी मेट्रो कॉरिडोर यूजिंग ड्रोन्स सो आई जी ड्रोन द कंपनी नेम इज नेक्स्ट इज हाउ मेनी कॉरिडोर आर बींग डेवलप्ड अंडर द नेशनल इंडस्ट्रियल कॉरिडोर डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम एन आई सी पी सो टोटल इलेवन कॉरिडोर आर बींग डेवलप्ड नेक्स्ट इज द प्रपोज इंटरनेशनल नॉर्थ साउथ ट्रांसपोर्ट कॉरिडोर आई एन एस टी सी विल नॉट पास थ्रू विच ऑफ द गिवन कंट्रीज सो उजबेकिस्तान इज द कंट्री एंड दिस आई एन एस टी एस विल नॉट पास थ्रू उजबेकिस्तान fine let's move to the next question so the next question is recently where was the global spirituality conference 2024 organized so answer of this question is hyderabad so global spirituality conference was a big event that take place in hyderabad recently the conference was held at a place called kana shanti vanam the location is kana shanti vanam organized by ministry of culture and an institute heartfulness so collaboration between ministry of culture and heartfulness institute they organize global spirituality conference 2024 the theme of this event is important and the theme is inner peace to world peace fine so over 300 spiritual leaders along with president draupadi murmu and vice president attended this event fine so let's do some revision questions regarding conferences so first question is recently which country hosted the 17th annual international bio curation conference so india hosted the 17th annual international bio curation conference next is recently where was the 13th ministerial conference of the world trade organization held so at abu dhabi so the location is abu dhabi fine next is which country recently hosted the ukraine reconstruction conference so japan hosted the ukraine reconstruction conference next is where was the 16th munich security conference held so it held in germany fine let's move to the next question and the next one is recently which state government launched Trinetra app 2.0 to revolutionize crime prevention so recently uttar pradesh state government launched trinetra app 2.0 so basically trinetra app 2.0 actually this is a new version of digital platform called the trinetra app it's being used by the up police to help prevent and solve crime fine some data is also here regarding this trinetra app 2.0 The police have put 9.32 lakh criminals record into the app, and this helps them to access data for investigation. Fine. So the app was launched by DGP, Director General of Police of Uttar Pradesh, and his name is Prashant Kumar. So Prashant Kumar is the DGP of Uttar Pradesh. Fine. 
and also additional director general amitabh yash so the app was launched by prashant kumar and amitabh yash fine let's move to the next question and the next one is ethanol 100 fuel recently launched by petroleum ministry is currently accessible in how many states so recently by petroleum ministry and the cabinet minister is shri hardeep singh puri launched ethanol 100 fuel which is accessible in five states fine and the five states name is maharashtra karnataka uttar pradesh new delhi and tamil nadu fine so what is ethanol 100 fuel so it is a special fuel made from ethanol which is a type of alcohol designed to use in car and other vehicles so it will be sold in 183 gas station across several states including maharashtra karnataka up new delhi and tamil nadu so ethanol 100 was introduced by union minister shri hardeep singh muri and launched at indian oil gas station in delhi so the launching event held in delhi fine let's talk about some facts as well the first fact is the indian government has successfully met the target of achieving a 10% average blending of ethanol in petrol so under the ethanol blended petrol program in june 2020 fine so indian government target for 2022 has been completed achieving a 10% average blending of ethanol in petrol under the ethanol blended petrol program fine next is the second fact is the next target so the next target is set at achieving 20% blending of ethanol in petrol by the ethanol supply year and that is 2526 2025 to 2026 fine so the 10% achievement was done in 2022 and the next achievement of 20% of blending is set for 2026 fine let's move to the next question next one is according to a recent release cews report which of the following states have been placed on the top in water manage so basically ceews report it stands for council on energy environment and water so it released a report on used water management in the country and the following states have been placed on the top which are haryana karnataka and punjab please notes this index is for used water management and that's why haryana karnataka and punjab top this index because it's for used water management not for pure water management fine next is recently prime minister of india inaugurated the kochrab ashram in which state so pm inaugurated the kochrab ashram in gujarat fine let's move to the next question so the next question is recently which state government has signed has agreed to implement the pm shri schools scheme by signing an mou with the ministry of education and the answer is tamil nadu so recently the tamil nadu government agreed to join a program called pm shri means pm uh, prime minister school for rising india so for this government sign a mou with the ministry of education so mou between ministry of education and the state government of tamil nadu so the aim is so simple the aim is to enhance the quality of education in the state and align with the objectives of the national education policy 2020 so tamil nadu government agreed to join a program called pm shri fine let's talk about some other facts regarding this pm shri its full form is prime minister school for rising india it launched on september 7 2020 over 14500 existing schools nationwide will be designed as pm shri according to the latest data fine it's a 
लॉन्चिंग ईयर वॉज ट्वेंटी टू टू ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड लास्ट ईयर इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू ट्वेंटी सेवन The total budget for this program is approximate twenty seven three sixty crore, with the center government contributing rupees eighteen thousand one twenty crore. Fine. Let's move to the next question, and the next is a last initiative recently seen in the news is related to which one of the following sectors? So, last initiative, it is related to educational sector. so what is ullas initiative and what ullas actually does so basically ullas nav bharat sakshatra karyakram initiative so this initiative launched during the akhil bharatiya shiksha samagam 2023 and it is a transformative step towards promoting basic literacy and essential life skills in india so what actually ullas does so this program is especially for people who are 15 year old and above and who did not have the chance to go to school for these type of people government is arranging ullas initiative fine so why it is in news so recently department of school and literacy conducted a test called fln80 fln80 foundational literacy and numerical assessment test across 23 states and it happened on 17th march so that's why this question came into the news because department of school and literacy conducted a test called fln80 foundational literacy and numerical assessment test and it's a part of ullas initiative that's why this question came into the news fine So the next question is: Recently, Ministry of Rural Development signed an MOU with which institute to formalize their partnership in application of geospatial technology and AI. So the institute name is IIT Delhi. Fine. Next is Right to Repair portal. Recently seen in the news is an initiative of which ministry? So it is initiative of Ministry of Consumer Affairs. Fine. Next is. Portion Bakhwada recently seen in the news is organized by which ministry? So it is organized by Ministry of Women and Child Development. Fine. Let's move to the next question, and the next one is Rakhine Peninsula recently seen in the news due to a volcanic eruption is located in which country? So recently a volcano erupted on the Rakhine Peninsula in Iceland. The location is nearby Rakhine. and reckon is the capital of iceland so it's the fourth eruption since december on the same location location is a few kilometer north east of a town called grindavik so the actual location is grindavik and the peninsula is reckon peninsula which is capital of iceland fine so hence the government of iceland declare a state of emergency due to a lot of concerns in this region so that's why this question is in news fine let's move to the some questions regarding international affairs recently which country has became the 97th member to ratify the international solar alliance so the answer is panama next is sea defenders 2024 recently seen in the news is a joint coast guard exercise between india and which country so between us and india fine next is recently which country became the 32nd member of the nato group so the country name is sweden and the next one is pass one satellite recently seen in the news launched by which country so the answer is iran So with this we are winding up our session and now let's start with today's quiz here on the slide you can see four questions which have been taken from the past days current affairs pause the video and try to solve each of these question and at the end of the lecture do not forget to share your answer in comment box please to be honest fine so that's all for today i hope you have liked the session 